please welcome to the stage Simon Kane. Go absolutely mad! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, uh, hey, my name's Simon. Uh, yeah, and I, I overthink massively. Like, um, the other day, uh, a girl texted me, and she finished a message with a Z. Um, now, pretty sure she meant to put an X. But for about four hours, I thought she might be Zorro. <laughs> she wasn't, mate. Uh, <laughs> you look just as disappointed as I was. Um, no, I, uh, I, t I, keep, I keep buying food I know I'm going to regret eating. You know, like not during the eating process, right? That's heaven. That's that's possibly my favorite part of the day. But like, okay, no, normally I associate my whole body with an emotion, right? But after say two, maybe three tubs of Ben and Jerry's, it's just here and shame. And I've worked out why I'm binge eating. It's because sometimes I don't know whether I'm hungry or lonely. And by the time I know, don't ah. <laughs> It's clearly not what I'm going for. Uh, I mean, I appreciate the support. Um, sort of means you're on board, but not in the right motion. Um, you've also ruined the flow of the bit, but it's 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 okay. It's, uh, we'll, we'll finish it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I feel like victimising individual members of the audience is also not a good plan for me. Um, but we'll carry on. Uh, yeah, so, and, and by the time I know which one it is, I'm full and lonely, and that lost completely. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, were you the guy who cheered like a madman a minute ago? No, that's my mate. Oh, right. <laughs> He's your mate, but sat six chairs back. Oh, oh, that's okay. It's, it's a bit awkward, this. Um, have, you, have you actually met before? What, this, this guy? This guy, yeah, obviously, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> That's all right. We're, we're, we're all making friends, aren't we? <laughs> I mean, you could have made friends at any point out there, but when I'm on stage, it's just as appropriate. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll carry on with some jokes. Um, I tell you what, I've, I've got some fears in life. Um, I, I, tell you, my big, I realized it the other day. My biggest fear is that uh, just before I go to sleep, I get into bed and uh, an angel will appear and show me what life would have been like had I never been born. And it's just a world where YouTube cat videos have a few hundred less views. <laughs> Glad I'm not alone. Uh, it's, uh, I, tell you, I, I, I was watching um, daytime TV the other day. I was watching um, Deal or No Deal, right? Uh, but it wasn't any Deal or No Deal. It was Celebrity Deal or No Deal, right? Now, I really hate that program, okay? I think it's horrible and ridiculous. But in fact, before I go any further, can we all admit that that is random chance and there's no skill involved? Yeah. yeah. How is it... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> How is it not classed as human torture when they do it for large sums of money that could go to underfunded charities trying to save people's lives? You know? Like... Yeah, I've, l I've lost a few of you. Um, <laughs> like, okay, I was, watching, I was watching Sarah Millican, right, do it for cancer research. And I thought, this is just like Schrodinger's cat for charity. <laughs> you know, it was like, oh, we're going to find some funding in this box. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, ma maybe there's a cure in this box. <laughs> no. I'm not going to do every box. I should. <laughs> the three people that were giving up on it quite early are already looking quite annoyed. Um, but uh, no, she, she was doing arguably quite well, okay? She, she was down to the last two boxes, and she was asked if she wanted to stick with the one she'd had the whole game or switch with the only other one in play. And she turned to the audience and went, oh, should I switch or stick? Because when you're that far in, why take responsibility for your own actions? <laughs> and they were all yelling out, you know, switch, stick, switch, stick. And the producers gave a microphone to one of the audience members who went, Sarah, don't worry about how much you win because just you being on the show will raise awareness of the charity and the illness itself. Which is true, because before watching the program, I didn't even know cancer existed. <laughs> uh, it's a bold punchline, I'm aware. Um, 
anyway, no, she, she started with her own box, right? And she got £20,000 for charity, which is great, right? And Noel Edmonds, he came on, and he was like, oh, you've done really well, Sarah. I think you should be really proud of yourself. Uh, should also uh, wish you good luck on your upcoming tour. Hope that goes just as well. And uh, I should say that Sarah didn't take a fee for being on the show. She's donated that to the charity as well. And I thought, that's really nice of her. And if I was her agent, that's exactly what I'd tell her to do. <laughs> I'd be like, Sarah... Don't worry about the money, because just you being on the show will raise awareness of your tour. <laughs> and it's true, because before watching the program, I didn't even know her tour existed. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not too criticising of it, but I mean, I just think if you're going to hit uh, society, you should hit at sort of the top run, not the bottom run of it, you know. You should have a go at people who've got skills and, and talents, because, I mean, you know, who, who wouldn't watch... The Graduate Apprentice, 49 candidates, no job. <laughs> Be a fun nine weeks, right? <laughs> I'd enjoy that. Um, well, I tell you what, uh, I, 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 tell you, I try and learn. I try and learn from my mistakes, right? But I, 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 I sometimes feel like animals learn better and quicker than we do. You know, like say I give my dog a bowl of whiskey. <laughs> right, if okay, right? <laughs> no one ring anyone. Um, now, if I, if I was to give my dog a bowl of whiskey, right, she'd probably try it because it's in a bowl, right? She probably wouldn't like it because it's a bit stronger than what she's used to. She'd probably avoid all liquid that looks like that for the rest of her life. Me and my friends go out every Saturday night. We drink as much as we can, go to a club, lose each other, and then meet up Sunday morning and claim we will never drink again. <laughs> give us five days of working in admin. We're back out there, right? <laughs> it's like that conversation didn't even occur. And I've come to the conclusion after three years in comedy that my dog would have given up stand-up by now. <laughs> if I told her it would take her, on average, right, five to seven years to get vaguely good at writing and telling a joke, she'd be like, Can I get that bowl back? <laughs> I'm going to need a stiff drink. <laughs> we are going to be broke forever. Oh. I, don't <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can't criticise it because it's not a real heckle, but it's <laughs> still not quite what I'm going for. Um, I might have to rework that joke. Um, well, thank you for your sympathy. Um, <laughs> just <for a> <laughs> I like you. You're going to be good friends to him. Um, <laughs> got one killer laugh as well. It's nice. Um, uh, also, I'm, I'll start making friends with people as well. Uh, anyway, I, sh I should end on this because I can see the eye. Um, uh, I sh I'll, I'll end on this because I try and learn one new thing every day, right? So I'll end on what I learned today. You should never ask a girl wearing a name badge what she calls the other breast. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. You guys have been great. Cheers. <laughs>